really driving me crazy. Do you ever feel like that? Good morning, everyone. It's Beverly Cole here with another video for you using my newest set of digitals called Early Spring Beauty. Now, the first thing I do when I lay out a set, and you've done this with me before, I'm going to fix my margins to the size that I'm comfortable with. And in open office, the smallest it will allow me to go is 0.12. And because I can just scroll down to 0.13, I use 0.13 for all of my margins. I have my grid in place to help me place things and measure. And now I'm going to start inserting the images from my file. I'm so glad spring is here finally. I know up north all of the trees are budding and uh, it's really pretty up there this time of year. However, down here in Florida, it's always sunny. It's always sunny in Florida <laughs> and hot. Right now it's been in the low 90s. Here's my image of crocus, and I just love when the crocuses pop up. They're just so adorable. I couldn't help making this one purple, but you can also get the stamp set with the one you can color yourself, so you can make them any color you want. So there's my image, and I've used one of the sentiments from the set here, and I'm moving it around with my placement arrow, but in order to put the background in, I move the stamps to the side just so that I don't bury them. You know how sometimes they get buried under each other. It's just easier this way for me to see them and to match a paper that I like. Here I'm going to the uh, right click and get the large icons instead of the words, which makes it easier to see what I'm working with. And I'm choosing one of the papers from the Aster paper set can't seem to make up my mind. Let's start with the yellow. And in order to make it the size I want, I'm going to right click and put position and size like usual. And this way you can make it the margins you want. So I'm going to make it an, a card size and a bit smaller so I can actually layer it onto a card size um, layer, another layer. This is just to show you how the papers and, and my different flower images work together. Don't we all love purple? So I moved the flower over and of course it got buried and I'm just going to make it come pop into the front and I'm going to resize it to fit onto my card size background. One thing I do notice when I put the sentiment onto the card bringing it to the front, arrange, bring to front. Then I notice, oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. <laughs> arrange, bring to, uh, send to back. I, was, uh, I had the paper chosen, so the paper had to be sent back. But you can see how you really can't read the sentiment that well. So with my background chosen, I'm going to go up and I'm going to insert another picture from file uh, to change the background color. They all look pretty, but I think I'm going to try something more monochromatic. So let's try this one, send it back. Oh, how pretty. Still can't read it too well though. So I'm going to make my background a bit transparent up on the left corner there. I'm making the numbers go uh, to about 47% transparent and that looks really pretty. So this is a card that you could, we're layering it digitally to be actually printed out as one flat card. Now I'm adding another layer and I want to show you what happens when you make your back, one of your backgrounds completely transparent. Here I'm just making it the size I want, the size of a card four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to send it to the back. Okay. Now I hear you'll see, I click on, I didn't choose that yellow layer. And when I move that background layer and I go to make it, I wanted to make it opaque, but instead I made it transparent to hundred percent and it disappeared. 
but it's still there. And here I seem to get a bit confused about what happened to it. So to help you uh, understand this, and uh, after I figured out what boo-boo I had made, that background's still there, it's just transparent. So here I decide, well, let's just go with the yellow background and see how that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna just make uh, a switch here of the sentiment, switch it out for a different sentiment from the Early Spring Beauty set. And this says, joy comes in the morning just to show you how you can fit you can fit this and I just did that by not holding down the shift key and put it back into the size that it should the shape it should be move the flower and you have another beautiful card so I decided okay we're just going to delete this whole card and I think that's what I do right now yes I'm going to draw a frame around it by dragging my mouse key and deleting and we'll make another one just to show you the different things you can do with this stamp set. So here let's use a daffodil or narcissus and we're going to copy and paste it to make two daffodils. There we go. But I want this one to uh, face the other direction. So I'm going to right click in a moment. I'm still resizing apparently. Yep. So I move that one in the background. So being higher up and smaller, it makes it automatically appear further back. And it is behind. That also helps the layering, the higher position and the size make it look further away. And I'm just kind of playing with it here and positioning it where I want it. And then, so I made a third one. Now I'm just resizing this third one, playing around with it, wondering really, do I need it? How can I make this one look different? Um, send it back. Um, and I use the, I click on it twice and get the little red dots eventually here. When you double click, you're gonna get, instead of green squares, you're gonna get little red dots. There's the red dots. And the red dots allow me as I flip it, the red dots allow the, the uh, depending on which one you pull and move, it changes the dimensions and the shape of your stamp. So I played around with it for quite a bit, wondering if I really need this third flower, because you know you always hear an uneven number is better, right? We all hear that when we make something. Uneven numbers are better. So I'm like, okay, well, let's add a sentiment. Okay, Hope Springs Eternal, and there's two different font choices when you get the set. There's Hope Springs Eternal in two different um, fonts and styles. And I'm still playing around with that flower back there. I just can't seem to be happy with it. Really driving me crazy. Did you ever feel like that? So I move things around, and I'm, you know, mm, I don't know. Here's those little red dots. Let's see what I can do. And kind of move it around, change the shape, change the the uh, angle. And then, as you can see, I finally decide to remove it altogether. Even though three is supposed to be more interesting, I decided three was just not working for this card. So this, this image is uh, from another stamp set. It's a white... Uh, uh, field flower silhouettes is what it's called and this is a butterfly silhouette so they're up there and uh, the black looks great with the black of the sentiment and all of the stamps are outlined in black so that looks good black looks good with anything and it's so slimming <laughs> Well, here we're not thinking about that. So I copied and pasted it, made another one, made them two different sizes, and here, again, two of them. I did try for a while, but I didn't film that part of putting in a third one, and it just didn't work for this card. For some reason, the two and the two looked better. So I'm breaking a rule here. I do have three dots, though, at the bottom of each one of those stems, so that's kind of like three is better than two, but whatever. Now this is a background for my winter paper pack, and I use the winter paper pack backgrounds quite a bit because there's some sky images. Per, there's a lavender sky, and this is a blue sky, and they're a little bit distressed, 
and so I like how they look in the background of all of these different nature stamps. I think they're beautiful. And then I just make a big frame around my whole image and I can resize this and I'm going to resize it to a card size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And here we have the entire card. Pretty cool. So I'm going to move this and just kind of play around with it a little bit to kind of tweak the images where I like them. I think I just tweaked them a bit to make it look, you know, make it fill the card. I played around with the sentiment a bit to make it, you know, not overlap that stem. And here it is. I copied and pasted it again. And here's another card that I made with this set. So have fun with this.